Hello and welcome to the final part in the quick walkthrough overview of the update to the sequencer in Omnisphere 2.6. Where we left it last, we got through most of the settings uh, and it left us with high, low and step dividers. So what I propose to do is just quickly go through these pieces, uh, well the last two bits anyway. Uh, so what we'll do is I will just A bit of a sound together, there we go. Uh, can't have a good sequence without a bit of delay. Right, so what does high low do? Well, high low only works when you hold more than one note together, and it pretty much says what it well does what it says on the tin. So if I go high, oh, and what it will do is play the lowest note first of the two or three or four or how many you're holding down and the highest possible note of the, that particular set of notes you're holding. So if I hold a C and a G together, so it's a C note, that's a G note. It'll play the C first and the G. If I swap them round, so it'll it'll just basically play the little note. So what we've got here next is step dividers, which is uh, also ratcheting. Now, before this update was provided uh, by Spectrosonics, the only way you could do ratcheting was a very long convoluted way of setting it up. It's still relevant because it gives more control over how the ratchet sounds and um, sort of affects the whole sound. And there's a link above uh, to a video I'll put together on how to make that happen. Uh, but very quick and dirty ways use these things called step dividers, which is what ratcheting is about. And it basically segregates that one step and splits into four, three or two. And then you can rise up in intensity by doing two, three, four rise, or fall in intensity by two, four, two three or four. So if I put a step divider four in, you get this sound. step divide three so what I'll do is uh, we'll take this step and we'll make it full to and we'll just get rid of that knob so that, that's basic ratcheting um, 16th makes it sound a bit mad Probably more acceptable. So what we'll do, um, quickly put, now we've gone through the last two bits, we'll quickly put a patch together. So uh, it always happens when I click too fast, that comes up, I do not want to save. So what we'll do is we'll make a very quick patch and have a bit of fun with the new features. So what we'll do, we'll modulate with the LFO, uh, we'll sync that, make that one to one. That's nice and deep. So now what we'll do in this one is uh, we've got a Moog modular saw set on this one, but what I want to do is put a Moog sample in. So what we'll do... Uh, sorry about that rattling, that's the ring on my uh, trackpad. Well, trackball mouse. Uh, so we'll have a three oscillator. That's a lovely sound, that. This is could add a bit of fun to this uh, simple patch. So. What I want to do is resonate, um, control the resonance with the same LFO. So if you modulate with the LFO, but change the LFO 2 to LFO 1. I want to put some reverb on that. Make it sound a bit epic. Right, what we'll do now is a 16 bar sequence. We've already done some uh, ratcheting in there, so we'll leave that in. 
and we'll transpose that up an octave and we'll actually slide down a tenth. That's interesting that came on. Uh, we'll slide down uh, yeah, we'll slide down to a third. <laughs> And what we'll do is um, yeah, we'll just stick with the transpose. Shut that length a bit. And we're gonna modulate that with a random effect. I want to modulate swing with an LFO. Right, so if we get a sequence together like this. So that's a quick demonstration of how to quickly put a quite an interesting sequence together very quickly using the new features of the sequence. So to finish off, we'll make that a two octave. is holding um, the note C, an octave, two octaves below, an octave below, middle C itself, and the C above middle C, and you get quite a funky, entertaining sequence. <laughs> so I hope this little overview gives you some idea of what can be achieved in something which looks quite simple to start with and provides quite a complex sequence quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this little series I put together. If you did, give it a, give this video a like, click the bell above, and you'll be notified of when I upload the next video. And uh, leave a comment below if there's anything you would like me to look at in Omnisphere or music in general, and uh, I'll be happy to make a video on that. So thank you for watching. <laughs>